Hallelujah. Listen, let me challenge everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Go for knowledge. There are too many teachings. Go for knowledge. If you take the time to listen to the teachings that have come just from January till now, I'm telling you it's enough to open doors. Do I recap on the teachings? Just take a message like lessons from an overcomer. Sit with that message. It will change your life. Are we together? Seasons of abundance. Deliverance from captivity. The ministry of light. I mean, I can name them. Many believers are lazy. God has distilled knowledge. He's taken sense from nonsense and he's brought it. All it takes is for you to calm down and study. I'm reminded of the testimony of a dear brother during, I think that was a US conference or so. Very humbling testimony. Right from jail, incarcerated under the influence of drugs and his friend gave him the teachings and this guy started listening methodically and in one year or thereabout, came out of jail, rehabilitated, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, owned properties. Come on now. The transforming power of light. Look at the other brother now. He listened to a message, came, received a prophetic word. He had that brother all the while in Dubai. Like your destiny helper has been all the while in Abuja, but waiting for your knowledge to trigger things in the spirit. You see, the realm of the spirit works based on a call and response system. A call and response system. There has to be a call before there is a response. And you don't call by just speaking. You call. Your mind also has a voice. It can call things. The Bible says even your mind is a prayer warrior. And that God can answer the request that your mindset gives. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask or think. Two ways to pray. By verbalizing it. And by the power, the excellency of your mentality, your mindset is a prayer warrior. There are things it can call to your life. Job said, the thing that I feared most has come upon me. I attracted failure by my fear, the abundance that I had. What if I lose this one day? What if I lose this one day? The mystery of sufficiency happens for you when you are able to acquire the requisite knowledge wisdom knowledge understanding and i taught you the difference already that knowledge talks about a coordinated gathering of useful information but it is not profitable on its own are we together now understanding means the comprehension of those laws understanding the working dynamics how to combine knowledge so that it profits you wisdom is the grace and the fortitude to put knowledge that has been understood to work so that it produces knowledge understanding wisdom